What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new series, Yakamo's S245. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler-free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Okay, do you remember that Netflix Belgian series Into the Night? Well, Yakamos is developed by the same guys who gave you Into the Night. So yes, you can describe Yakamos as sort of a spin-off or a spiritual sequel to Into the Night. But if you ask me, hey Rama, do I have to have watched Into the Night first? before I check out Yakamos? Well, I'm sure that that would help to a certain extent, but one thing that Yakamos did very well is make itself come across as a standalone so that you can enjoy it as its own entity. Simply put, if you like sci-fi conspiracy thrillers in general, then there's a lot about Yakamos that will captivate you because this is one of those shows that will keep you guessing all the way to the end. That said, I have a few criticism about it, so stick around. In Yakamos S245, when the world is threatened by an unknown natural catastrophe, Arman and his science crew need to get on board a military sub to survive. As Arman and his crew try to figure out what's happening to the world, he also questions what the true mission of this submarine is. In the end, will he be able to save himself, his crew, and so much more than he can imagine? Yakamos S245 questions much more than a disaster that brought the end of the world. Not to lose faith and hope in humanity, no matter what the circumstances are. Yakamos S245 hails from the country Turkey, so while you're at it, come check out also my previous reviews of Netflix other Turkish shows such as Fatma and 50 Square Meters right here only on Rama Screen YouTube channel. Okay, back to Yakamos S245. Here's what cracks me up. When the commanding officers give orders to their subordinates, I can't keep a straight face. I mean, it's not even full metal jacket, man. It's just some weird pep rally talk about staying alive. It's so bizarre and unintentionally laughable on their part. Some of the dialogues are way over the top and overly abrasive, which make them sound like cartoon characters. Now, the first episode did a decent job Job of setting up the drama and the team connection and then BAM it immediately takes a turn for the mystery which is an excellent way of arresting your curiosity but then halfway through the mystery kind of loses its footing and it then focuses more on the animosity and the event horizon type madness I think at times in the process of trying to engage you in the suspense the writers can often get too ambitious that they bite off more than they can chew now just to share with you a little bit more about the plot without spilling spoilers basically in a nutshell the sun is a radiation that practically kills every living thing on earth and it doesn't matter if you're in a tunnel or a shelter made of lead it can still kill you so the only way for these characters to survive is by staying inside this submarine that dives so deep into the sea the sunlight cannot reach it although the mystery is kind of touch and go the actors' performances overall deliver. They did a marvelous job of embodying all that tension and distrust. The submarine interior set is very detailed and elaborate. It definitely gives me a claustrophobic sense watching some of the sequences in there. The production goes out of its way to make this a post-apocalypse that's visually grim, as most of it were also shot in the dark or at night. This collision of soldiers and scientists can be a scary, confrontational combo. On one hand, you have people people who are like hammer so everything to them looks like a nail and on the other hand you have people who are smart and logically driven but they have secrets they hide so while Yakamos doesn't make it easy for you to piece the puzzle together it does have the markings of an addictive drama thriller look Despite its flaws, I do find this show enjoyable and gripping. It's a fascinating companion piece to Into the Night, and who knows, maybe Netflix is planning some kind of a sun radiation thriller cinematic universe where one is connected to the other and characters can cross over, which if that's the case, then I am so there, bruh. 